Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So now we are on video seven of this series. I'm going to look at how to wire up a temperature sensor. We have the code seven underscore temperature dot py, um, which we'll go through in a bit of detail. So this is the wiring diagram. It's a little bit fiddly. Um, you may take you a few attempts to get it completely um, right. Luckily the code works and is stable so that if the code isn't functioning, you've probably wired it wrong. There are two components, the temperature sensor itself and the resistor. Because there are three pins on the uh, temperature sensor, there's quite a bit of wiring to make sure everything goes to the right ground power line and up to the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna introduce a few concepts. Uh, which you'll see in the code, math operators and how we um, add and multiply numbers together. We're going to introduce the concept of one wire which is related to the temperature sensor. So this is the code in its entirety. Unfortunately I've tried to explain every line in a video and it went on to about 25 minutes long and that's too long for a video so unfortunately we're not going to learn a lot of new concepts in this video. You can pick through the code on your own. Unfortunately I would like to explain it but like I say it will take too long. So we're just going to look at the code from a very high level. So the first two lines of the code here we have, uh, which call to the operating system, run the commands mod probe, one wire GPIO, one wire therm, which is the thermometer or the temperature sensor. And by issuing the command, you are able to interface with the wire, one wire sensor. So without that, you actually can't make, take a reading from the um, sensor. The next three lines, what they essentially do is they um, look into a directory, um, which is sysbus, uh, w1 slash devices and then what it does in there it looks for a file and in there will be a raw reading or raw output from the, the thermometer to a text file and then the rest of the code reads that in. The function this one here is called read temperature raw and basically it just fetches the information that's been written to that file earlier on and it saves that to memory. So this second function what it essentially does is it will read in uh, that information from um, that variable in the function above and what it will basically do is it will keep checking in case there are any errors because the thermometer can throw up a few errors from time to time it'll keep trying until it finds its successful um, entry and then what it does the function returns two values the first being the temperature in degrees uh, celsius and then in degrees fahrenheit um, then at the bottom here we have the main loop of the program that simply loops and reading the temperatures and then it prints that um, to the screen and then it waits for a second and then prints it again. So let's see how that works um, in the real world after wiring up. If you want to learn more about programming and Python in particular, head over to Code Academy and follow their Python track. They've got a fantastic interactive website that can teach you far more than I can in these small videos. So this is the actual thermometer. It is a DS18B20 and there are three pins on it. The one on the far right is the pin one, which is the ground that goes to your ground rail. The one on the far left is the power rail, uh, power pin, that's um, pin three. And the middle pin is the one that actually has the data um, which sends the information of the reading from the chip, the actual temperature, to the GPIO header. So here comes the fiddly bit. So get your thermometer and um, connect it up. There we go. It actually doesn't have any relationship to the buzzer there, even though it looks like it does. So we're going to connect our resistor to pin 2, which is the data pin. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's put that directly close up against the uh, thermometer to make it nice and easy. Then we're going to connect up pin 1, which is on the far um, right to the positive rail, the red line. Then we're going to get um, another cable, which is going to go from our pin one, our negative rail, and we're going to connect that up to uh, the negative rail. Here we go. Again, it's quite fiddly. It's quite small here. Okay, it goes to a positive rail, and we need another cable that's going to go from the resistor to the positive rail and then the last one is going to go from the data pin pin 2 up to the GPIO. There we go, that's it wired up.
unlike the rest of the code, um, because we're using the one wire interface, it's a bit more complicated. We have to set up a few things before we can use it. So we need to change into, we need to run the command um, sudo mod probe one wire or w1 dash gpio and again we're going to run uh, sudo mod probe space one w dash therm now this is actually these two lines are actually in the code as we explained earlier we're going to do this manually so we can make sure that the electronics is working so we can change into the directory sys bus one wire slash device and we're going to check and see if the device has actually been picked up if it has, when we run ls minus l, you will see a serial number of the chip there. If you don't get a directory that looks like that, then it's not working. If we then run the command um, cd into that serial number, which is the directory, and then we look inside that um, directory and cat for a file called um, one wire or w1 slave, you will see two raw readings from the thermometer. They are the two lines that get converted into Celsius and Fahrenheit um, in our code. So let's change into our directory where our code is kept, which is slash home, slash pi, slash desktop, slash gpio um, underscore python code, find our temperature code and run sudo python seven underscore temperature dot py, and there you'll see the code in action, one by one, reading the temperature sensor to the screen. And there we go. If you see I put my finger on it, um, the temperature will go up slowly and then when I take my finger off in a minute, it will go down. They're not perfectly in sync because the videos rec record at different times, but that's basically the process. So if you want to keep following, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.